Some habits feel harmless, but they quietly destroy your focus, drain your energy and slow down your career in tech. The worst part, you don't even notice them happening. Stick around because one of these is probably sabotaging your day right now. And the fix is stupidly simple. By the end of this video, you'll know the key habits that quietly wreck tech professionals and the quick fixes that actually move the needle. There are six big ones and the last one hits everyone who thinks they're being productive. You probably think your day gets drained by big problems, but it's actually tiny decisions that slowly crash your brain. Waiting for CI to finish, open Slack. Coffee brewing, check email. Your brain gets tired, scroll for one minute. You never let your mind go blank. And that's a huge mistake. Idle moments are not wasted time. They are where your brain connects the dots, solve problems in the background and restores creativity. When you fill every empty second with stimulation, you suffocate mental space where all your best ideas form. This is why your most creative thoughts happen in the shower or on a walk. Your brain finally gets breathing room. Protect empty space. Give your mind 30, 60 seconds of nothing. Group similar tasks and allocate dedicated time slots for such sprints and give yourself a few uninterrupted blocks when nobody can ask you anything. You'll be shocked how quickly clarity returns. The next big one is over-optimizing or over-engineering things. Tech pros love tweaking systems, routines, dashboards, automations, but when you over-optimize everything, you trigger productivity guilt. That feeling when you should always be doing more or better or faster. It kills joy, it ramps up anxiety and ironically makes you worse at problem solving. Suddenly your brain is managing your system instead of actually doing the real work. Aim for good enough and optimize what already works only when it becomes necessary. Now let's discuss the do it later situation. Soft commitments that steal your mental bandwidth. I should review this PR soon, or I need to ping that client today. I'll update that document later. Your brain treats all of these as open loops. That mental clutter quietly eats your willpower. Unfinished tasks overclock your mental RAM, even when you're not doing them. A principle that works in these kinds of situations, only hold it once. If it takes one or two minutes, do it now and forget about it and handle such small tasks during the allocated daily time slots for small tasks, not when you're in the flow. Otherwise, if something hits you midday, offload it immediately into a clean system like Notion, Todoist, or literally anything consistent. The next one is very common in tech domain, the always on trap. Tech culture celebrates hustle, late night emails, just one more task. But chronic sleep loss wrecks focus, memory creativity, everything you rely on. And here is the loop. Less sleep, poor performance. More overtime, even less sleep. There is just one solution. Hard boundaries. Stop work one or two hours before bed. Aim for that seven hours of sleep. And silence notifications after hours. Well-rested developers solve problems faster. At the end of my day, I literally say all systems down out loud, close my laptop and forget it exists till morning. Now the thing that everybody claims they do, but if you actually do it in practice, is taking small breaks. Grinding non-stop feels productive until your brain quietly hits the wall. Stress markers spike, problem solving drops and your attention slowly melts. Put your brain in neutral for 60 seconds and clear that cognitive buildup. Most devs skip them and it costs them dearly. Take micro breaks every 45 to 60 minutes. Stand up, stretch, breathe, get some water, get some air, anything. I just usually drop down and do push-ups between coding blocks. Works every time. More on this here. Last tip might seem controversial, but consuming too much learning content kills productivity. Tech pros drown in tutorials, newsletters, and must-watch videos. It feels productive, but it's a passive overwhelm. If you're not applying it, it's just noise. Skill only comes from doing, not collecting more information. Learn only what applies to your current project right now, because information becomes a skill only when used. Everything else is a distraction disguised as progress. These habits are tiny, but they compound, either toward a burnout or toward a cleaner, sharper, and more productive version of you. If you fix even one of them, you'll feel the difference this week. And tell me in the comments which one hits you the hardest. If you want more practical habits to level up your career in tech, hit subscribe. The next video goes even deeper into the deep work. See you there.